Brent, Kyoto, and Salisaw, and that's between now and 1045. Again, the main threat, some gusty winds and maybe some quarter-sized hail as we look back to the southwest of that across Haskell County toward Pittsburgh County. These showers and thunderstorms starting to weaken and a little farther to the south and west toward eight of those showers and thunderstorms continue to break up and weaken. So overnight in the Tulsa area, our skies will clear and we'll watch the temperatures fall all the way back into the chilly low 40s by tomorrow morning. But let me tell you, it's going to get colder over the weekend. Sunday morning, we might be in the mid 20s. So what to look for on Friday? A chilly start tomorrow with temperatures in the 40s. We'll have a lot of sunshine, but a cool north wind about 10 to 20 miles an hour. And then clouds will increase tomorrow night, but it should stay dry until well after midnight. And then Saturday morning, St. Patty's Day run here through Brookside, right past the TV station. Tonight, right, and her crew will be out front cheering you on. So make sure you wave as you run by, but make sure you have the rain gear. Watch what happens on future track here at about 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. We see light rain and it is steady. It's developing through 8 a.m. Start of the race, 42 degrees. We have southeast winds at that time with low pressure uh, sending us easterly winds. Well, temperatures around 45 at the noon hour, still some rain starting to shrink and break up to the south or to the north, I should say, and then colder air comes in. And yes, this pink area would indicate that we could see some wet snowflakes mixing in and maybe changing to a little bit of light wet snow at Coffeyville over toward Joplin. How about that? Temperatures in the low 40s here in Tulsa, likely in the 30s just to our north with a stiff northeast wind at 15 miles an hour. Weather picks tonight. We had some good ones. How about this from, from Marta Doughty over in Grove? And if you're a Disney fan, you can uh, find the hidden Mickey here right there. How about that little Mickey Mouse ears going on from that shot? And then Ellie K sent in this photo, golf ball sized hail at Grand Lake. We're hoping there was no damage with that. And Rob Tolleson, some more hail coming in from Grove. So well, it was a big enough hail over in that area to cover the ground is what we heard. 48, the morning low, 84 this afternoon, but I don't think we're going to see 84 again for a week or more. 67 right now, north wind at 14 miles an hour. Dew point at 56, so it's starting to drop also. 37 Bartlesville tonight, 40 in Claremore. We'll fall to 41 at Silwell, 41 at Okmulgee with north northeast winds around 15 miles an hour, down to around 50 at Eufaula and McAllister behind that cold front. So tomorrow we wake up with a chilly northeast wind, starry cool feel, about 43 at 8 a.m., 54 by the noon hour, near 60 for the high, and then 49 with increasing clouds tomorrow night at 9 p.m. High temperature in Talala, 58 degrees. Sky took up to 59, prior up to 59, 61 in Tahlequah, Stillwell also up to 61, Muskogee hits 64 tomorrow, and Sepulpa is up to 61 degrees south of Interstate 40. Temperatures in the mid 60s with east northeast winds at 10 miles an hour. Then the seven day forecast, take a look at Saturday, 47 in the morning, 42 by the afternoon, 80% chance of rain, 24 Sunday morning, back to 54 Sunday afternoon, 62 Monday with a small chance of rain and another cold front knocking the temperature down to 26 Tuesday morning, 54 Tuesday afternoon. So that's twice in the next seven days we could see somewhat of a hard freeze. And 